Good day YouTube, how are you? It's been a while since I've made a, a video. Today's video was about the H&K P30SK subcompact. And mine's actually SKS subcompact safety. Um, this is the firearm right here. Do a real check for you real quick. It is empty, nothing in, nothing in the chamber. You can see there's nothing in there, right? No, it's not, not facing my head, it's facing that way. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so there's been a ton about the shield, right? A lot of, a lot of guys have been doing the, the um, against the shield and the SK, or the, not too many against the shield and the HK, probably more of a hammer uh, striker fire. This is a hammer fired, which I kind of like because I have a SIG like that too. Uh, but here is the um, Smith & Wesson shield, 9mm, um, also empty. Well, quick video, like I said, two of these firearms are um, compacts. They're made for, um, you know, concealed carry. Uh, I wanted the H H&K for a very long time. Um, I looked into it and I heard pros and cons and some people want striker. I like the hammer fire. I like the fact that you can fire this double action here if you want to. And you can fire it single action as well. So you can do this way. Once your first round comes back, the hammer's back and you have a nice clean break on it. It also has the hammer hammer drop safety over here also if you need to use it. And I have mine with the safety. I'll go into that in a second about what why I have the safety and it, how it doesn't matter to me. Just it's all in the training, right? So here you go. Here's the difference between the two. I'm not going to go into total specs or anything like that. I'm going to just show you if you look at the difference between the two of these. Here is the H and K here. And here is the nine uh, Smith & Wesson shield here. So you can see that the um, 9 millimeter, the H&K is slightly larger, you know, um, but I'm going to go into all that too. It's not that much bigger. It's bigger. It's a little smaller than the um, uh, Smith & Wesson compacts. Um, so I, I do have one in a 40 cal uh, uh, Smith & Wesson. Um, it's the uh, Smith & Wesson uh, 40C, but that's a different for a different time. But anyhow, um, why I like this gun because it's a little it's a little bigger than that and it's a little harder to conceal so having said that you have to go up to a different to make yourself comfortable if you're gonna wear jeans you should go up to another pant size like I wear a 34 I'm probably going to you know have to find a 35 or a loose fitting pair you know and then you just put it in uh, you know I carry it at a four three four o'clock position that's where I'm comfortable to each his own some people do appendix some people do in the back it doesn't it's, it's up to you um, but it's a little harder to find a holster for this. I have a Kydex for this that I use that's, that's fine. Um, you know, you definitely have more of a, uh, uh, it's just a little larger in here. This to, just to give you a quick, um, what the thickness is on this one. This one here is, I'll zero this out. This one is the H and K. is 27 right there and the shield is 24 so it's cut that's 20 in millimeters so the shield definitely is a little thinner but let me tell you um as far as how it fits in your hand i have a kind of a large hand um probably a bit little bigger than average uh, this fits my hand so nice. You can put your whole hand over all three fingers over the back and you have room, you know, um, it's just chunky. It has a nice feel. feels like a large gun. Having said that, when I first brought this to the range, um, I, I'm, a, I'm a, a, a pistol instructor as well um, for, you know, people want to get their private pilot, private pilot their um, concealed carry permit. Um, but I'm not an, I'm a decent shot, you know, I practice a lot, but I'm decent. Um, so I always, what I, whatever I carry, I make sure I'm very proficient with. So before I started carrying the H and K, I took it to the range. I've had the gun for probably about four months now. So right when I first got it, maybe a couple of weeks after I got it, I went to the range, left it in my holster and I just pulled out and drew and I just shot just to see what I was going to do. It was, it was probably around, I'd say, I think it was probably about 25 feet away. And I hit everything within the size of my fist. No flyers, nothing. Which was fast fire. Um, all 10 rounds. By the way, the H&K comes with two 10-round magazines. Um, whereas the Smith & Wesson Shield comes with seven and eight. But not to get off the subject. 
Um, and I don't think I've ever done that with a firearm before. Never shot in it and just fired real quick and kept the group that tight, um, which was very impressive to me. So um, I, then I shot my shield. And as, for as much as I shot my shield, I shot my shield about as good as I shot the H and K. Maybe slightly better on the shield because I have so much time with it. Um, but it was all unbelievable for the first time shooting it. At the end of the range time that day, I spent about maybe 40 minutes, maybe an hour. I was better shooting better groups with the HK. It's just the gun is phenomenal. It, it handles the recoil like a larger full frame gun. Um, it's just it just confidence. It's just that's that. And if you you, you really can't put a a, um, a price on that as far as how you feel confidently shooting it. Now it might be a little large for. It does come with adjustable back straps. Um, this has three sizes. I use the large ones. Uh, it's it's a little chunky and it does have some heft to it. So I don't know for some maybe some um, smaller women or some guys who who are not used to um, having something so chunky to fire. Um, it may be a little much, but the recoil will make up for it because there barely is any recoil on it whatsoever. Um, but I do carry that, and it's a little on the chunkier side to carry. That's the only thing I'm going to say is that it does have a little heft as far as, um, you know, holstering it and carrying it. One more thing is there's a couple of different options for this. This one is not the LEM where they have, the, they have that new trigger. This one is the standard version where you take it and you pull it here, and there's a safety's on, safety off right there. Take it here, it comes after the second round's fired. You're stuck in single action mode. Really nice, nice clean break there. Boom. Um, so I practice with the safety method. This comes with or without. Some folks may want to try it, may want the safety for your home. You have kids, just that little extra bit of safety. I have it for that because I leave it, you know, I leave it one in the chamber and I like to have that. But I practice. I mean, um, this happens to be um, the one I got is with the safety. So you just train with it, pull it down with your thumb, or you can leave the safety off if you want. Just you, you train with it, it's no big deal. The shield on the other hand, uh, I also have a safety on this one too right here. It's a thumb safety. You have the option on the shield as well. Um, same thing. This is a striker fire. This is a little bit more. Needs a little bit. Uh, will go off a little easier in my opinion because you don't have to have, pull that um, that trigger for a single, a double, a single, sorry, double action pull on an HK. Where once you fire this, this will be all ready to, you know, once you pick that safety off, it's ready to go. Clean break on it. I don't have to go over the shield. It speaks for itself. It's an excellent, excellent firearm. Um, I carry this. I still carry this a lot. If I'm wearing a little tighter clothing or uh, if I'm dressed up a little bit more, I may tend to carry, take my shield with me. Um, but the H and K, I gotta tell you, man, that I've not. I have a Sig P220, and these guns are they're you know they're a little like extra money, but once you shoot this, the it, it's, it's this one of the smoothest firearms I've shot, and I have been shooting firearms since God, since I was a little kid. Um, so it's worth the extra money, in my opinion. Uh, you just have to be a little selective on the type of holsters you're going to use, um, and be a little bit more cognizant of the pants and you know what shirt you're going to wear. But it's still considered a subcompact. Um, I definitely recommend you checking out. Just my two cents. Please feel free to hit the like, subscribe button, and I'll make as many videos as I could. I'm curious to hear some of your feedback, and um, have a good day. Take care.